morning to you and I hope this story finds you well today. So here I am with another BD4 family story session. I wonder what we're going to talk about today. I don't know if you can see behind me we've got we've got the trees and we've got a big bear. I wonder what his name is. Well he has got a name and he's called Huglas. Huglas Douglas. I wonder how you're feeling today, whether you've woken up and been having really lovely cuddles with your teddies in the night. It's a bit hard at the moment, isn't it? We can't get to see members of our family and give them hugs and, and cuddles and things and we can feel a little bit lost about that. But hopefully you've got lots of cuddly toys that you can cuddle and have hugs with and your close family, mummies and daddies and sisters that you can have hugs with. And then maybe soon we'll be able to get back to grandmas and granddads. So let's have a look at our story today, shall we? Shall we start with the rhyme? Boys and girls, it's story time. Boys and girls, it's story time. Boys and girls, it's story time. So listen very carefully. Fold your arms and cross your legs. Fold your arms and cross your legs. Fold your arms and cross your legs and listen very carefully. So, shall we have a look in my box and see what I've got in my box today? Can you remember the rhyme? Can you remember what we say? We say magic box, magic box, look and see, look and see, is there a story? Hiding in the box for me. Well, shall I take the lid off? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, we have got some things in. We've got some. We've got some leaves. A big bunch of leaves. Okay, we'll put those down on the table. We've got... Oh, we've got a little cuddly teddy bear. Give him a big hug. Maybe you want to go and get your teddy bears. There he is. We'll sit in there. We've got some. Ooh, we've got some sheep. Oh, and we've got a very big sheep. There we go. There's a big sheep. What do the sheep say? Bah! So I wonder how we've got these things in this story. Shall we have a look? Shall I have a look and see if there's a storybook? Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. We've got Huglas Douglas. That's our story today. So let's have a look and see what we've got in our story, shall we? Let's see what Huglas Douglas is up to. So, this story is called Huglas Douglas. Oh, all I can hear here is some snoring. <sighs> One spring morning, a big yawn came from the back of a deep, dark cave. It was a young brown bear. And his name was Douglas. Oh, he's having a big stretch. I need a hug, said Douglas. So he wriggled out of his pyjamas. He brushed his hair. He put on a scarf and he went to look for one. My Best hugs are big, thought Douglas. So he went up to the biggest thing he could find and wrapped his arms all the way around it and gave it a squeeze. It didn't feel quite right. Oh, grunted Douglas. It's a bit too, oh, oh, it's a bit too heavy. You don't get a good cuddle out of a stone, do you? My best hugs, he said, are tall, thought Douglas. 
So he went up to the tallest thing he could find. He hugged the bottom. He hugged the middle. And he hugged as high as he could reach. But it was all wrong. It had splinters and it itched and it scratched. My best hugs are comfy, thought Douglas. And so he trotted towards a cosy bush. He cuddled the bush, but something felt very odd. The leaves quivered and trembled. Hmm, that's odd, isn't it? And ran away. Oh, look at all those feet. Give us a hug, cried Douglas. No, bad the sheep, we're too busy. He scooped up handfuls of them anyway and tried to cuddle them gently, but they kicked and they squirmed and they didn't like it at all. Poor Douglas. Why can't I find a hug, he said. If I want a hug, said a wise owl, I sit in my tree and... Ooh, let me try, whooped Douglas, and he scrambled up next to the owl. But he soon found himself in a clumsy muddle. Too wool to eat, said the owl crossly. Oh dear, the owl ended up on the floor. I only wanted a hug, sniffed Douglas. Perhaps there's one down here. And he felt something long-eared and rabbity, and he gave it a tug. Douglas could tell that the rabbit didn't want a hug. He sniffed again and, without thinking, wiped his nose on the fluffy end. Oh! <gasps> Excuse me, shouted the rabbit. Put me down! But I need a hug, said Douglas, and I can't find one anywhere. Oh, I see, said the rabbit kindly. Come with me. So she took Douglas by the paw and led him round and about. At last they came to a deep, dark cave where sleepy someone was just waking up. A big yawn came out of the cave. Douglas peeped inside. He had the funniest feeling that he knew the someone very well. Who gasped Douglas and ran as fast as he could towards... His mum. Oh, come to think of it, my best hugs are from someone I love, said Douglas. And he snuggled into the biggest and warmest arms he knew. And here are a picture of all the different hugs that you can do. You can have a shy hug. That's two people with their eyes closed. An upside down hug. A good night hug with the night caps on. A daisy chain hug where all of it, everybody's joined together. There are lots of hugs that we can have. And the best hugs that we have are with our mums and grandmas and our close family and also our teddies. I hope you get to sleep tonight and I hope you have a big hug from your mum and your teddies. For now though, I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you again. Goodbye.